Dude, that's a giant fish. All right, guys, we're out here on the Illinois River today setting bank poles. This is my first time out here. I'm with two bank pole gurus here. We're getting ready to uh, hopefully get some nice flatheads. We have bullheads for bait, so we'll see what happens. It's gonna be pretty sweet, so stay tuned. You come get me. This looks like a senior photo shoot. Keep beating it. That is not my dominant side. Let's go. Good to go? Good to go. Another bank pole. Upstream from a bunch of logs, so that's perfect. There's the magic bait. That's bait. Cut the fins off of them. There you go, Benny. Transitioning the hey. bullhead to the hook. Put the 10 on circle hook. Today we're just fishing with bullhead only and cut bait. Uh, we're not fishing bluegills. Oh, that's some f***ing drunk people, dude. Hell no. The local drunks are coming up. We got Logan, he's trying to get away before they start checking our poles. Where do you want to go, Betty? Oh, look at all the spider webs. Cool, oh, let's go in there. What do you think about that? I'll jump. The jump? I'll get out. No spiders for Petty. No spiders. <laughs> if there's a spider on my bank pole, it's his bank pole now. He can keep it. I ain't touching it. I hope that thing crawls up here. I don't. I'll be swimming across the water. Y'all look like my, Michael Phelps. <laughs> Michael Phelps 2.0. Go. Look at that face. That's a face of determination there. We're only legally allowed to set 30 poles. 10 apiece. Ten apiece. We still got a lot of river to cover. Pretty far north. Ow. Just like that. All right, show us where you're rigging it up at. Right behind the dorsal. I'm gonna go just barely below it because you don't want to hit the spine. You push through. Come off the other side. See how he can still move and whip his tail? You didn't hit his spine. You want to be above it, not below it, because then they can't move as much. And that circle hook, that big barb, that'll keep it from coming out. It doesn't really, they, they don't have a chance of getting off. Oh, he's bouncing. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. So we're also running some cut bait. What is this? Uh, common carp that has all the scales off and no big bones in it. It's easier for the catfish to eat and they feel more comfortable eating it. So we're gonna be targeting channels and hopefully some giant blue cat on that. That'd be pretty sick. Hopefully. How many is that, six? Yeah. So we've set probably around 20 poles so far. We're setting the last 10 now. Um, basically, we're gonna use bullhead for the, the last 10, trying to target those big flat heads that are out here on the river. This is gonna be some good stuff. Boom. This one looks like it's sideways.
Oh, yeah, it's moving. All right, we're getting ready to check it. I got it. Getting another weapon. All right, so right now I'm running on zero hours of sleep. We lost um, one of our boat partners, actually the captain of the boat, he decided to sleep in. So uh, me and Brendan came out here, ran all the bank poles, and there we go, that's the result right there. Dedication, getting up early, caught it on cut bait. I think that was uh, common, common carp. Yep. So there we go, we were running bull heads for those flat heads. And as you guys saw last night, uh, we missed a real nice one. And today we checked the same pole and there was nothing on it. So a lot of our bait's been stripped. We think there's probably some thieves running around on the river too, but you never know. We got four more poles to check, so who knows, we might catch a few more. Let's see what happens. So we just rolled up. Like I was saying, we were hoping we were gonna catch a few more because we put in a lot of effort to set these poles last night. Run on in zero hours of sleep. And as you guys can see here, we got another one on. I'm gonna pull this one up and uh, Put them in the boat. Number two. Like a flathead, but <laughs> late channel. We we'll take what we can get at this point. Okay, I'll pull them up. You're gonna pull them up? Dude, this is a giant. We're getting ready to lose the boat. That's a flat for sure. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. This was on a bullhead, guys. It's gonna be pretty intense. I saw the, the little wake he just made. That was huge. Hold up. I'm here for support. Ooh. Oh, nice, dude. Oh. <laughs> we got Mr. Flatty. We got Bring Mr. Flatty. Check that out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's awesome. We just got three in a row. We got two more left. Let's see what happens. Dude, I'll be happy with just this. There's that flathead you were chasing. Yeah. That's you honestly, that's a nice, that's a nice one. All right guys, check it out. That's Mr. Flatty. This is what we've been after all night. Two channels and a flat. The size comparison. 